Welcome back uh, to the module three of Google Certified Educator Level One. Today we are going to cover up in module three a topic called as blogs. Now, uh, to my experience in the exam, uh, there was, I think, about one question on blogs. What is very important to understand about blogs is it's a very important, one of the important aspects of digital citizenship uh, of well-being of child is understanding how do you actually, uh, you know, react to if someone posts a negative comment about your blog. So, uh, because your blog, uh, blog, what you create is a reflection of your thoughts and uh, there are a lot of online bullies out there might start posting any random comments to your blog. So the children have to be taught is how do you handle such negative comments or online bullying? The well, first and foremost is they should report the, if it is a hate comment, has to be reported to Google. They can also go to the extent of also blocking the person so that that person doesn't comment on the blog again. They don't need to reply to the person with any negative comments. So it's better that, and they keep a record of who has, uh, you know, uh, put in such a negative uh, comment to them because uh, they have to be taught, the children have to be taught uh, on how to handle such situations because this happens with everyone online wherein you have negative trolls or negative comments posted on your own comments and how do you retaliate to it. So the questions in blogs were mainly with regards to that. They may or may not ask you any practical based question. But let's quickly see how to create a blog. So we go on blogger.com. Now, as soon as, and this can be accessed from Drive also. Uh, until and unless if it's uh, not active to be shown here, the blogs can be accessed or just go on blogger.com. Now, once you are in blogger.com, just click on sign in. So it asks you to sign in with a Google account. On signing up, it will ask you to give a blog name and a unique address for the blog. Uh, because uh, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, you know, work on blogs, it's uh, sometimes it gets tricky to select a unique name. But let's try. Uh, let's see if we could. Uh, uh, you know, give a name there. So we just create, click on create your blog. Login. So once login, uh, you can say, give the title. And let's give my friend 15 June 2020 and uh, display name is so as soon as I click on finish what you could do is click on this plus sign to create a new post Give a title. Now I will not go very much detail in all these, but this is for inserting image. This is for inserting video, smileys. This is your alignments, your bullet text. And uh, if you want to have input in different languages, that's for clear formatting. 
So the most important thing to understand here is if you wish to see the preview of the blog, you would click here. So it shows you how the blog looks like. And click on, I think it's got automatically saved. Uh, and if you click on publish, now once you click on publish, the blog gets published. Now, how you access the blog is, if you remember when we created the blog post, when we created a new blog, we gave a name like my friend 15 June 2020.blogspot.com. So that's how your blog looks like and all your posts would appear here uh, on this page. And uh, I was talking to you about reporting abuse is on clicking this link. Depending on the situation, the student has, uh, you know, encountered that particular link could be clicked on and reported. So it's a very good tool, blogs. So uh, if you wish to, uh, you know, make a blog uh, private or public, you have the settings to do so. If you click on settings, you could also, uh, you know, select the privacy, whether you want it to be visit visible to search engines or not. And uh, you could invite more authors. Uh, if you see the reader access, as I was mentioning, is sometimes you want to keep it private to the authors itself, you could select that. And in custom readers, you can assign, uh, you know, set of uh, reader email IDs so that only that particular uh, student uh, gets to see. Most of the blogs normally are public. That's why it's very important to understand how do you react to the negative comments uh, as and when they happen. So blogs is a little bit more in detail, but because uh, the coverage in the exam is limited, uh, I would uh, uh, complete my video now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next module.